we're going to lose the darkroom experience. There, there's some times when uh, I go in the darkroom and close the door. It's almost like breathing a sigh of relief. There's something soft and quiet and almost comforting about the darkness. And you're removed from the world. It's a kind of second-hand experience of the world because you're making prints of photographs you've taken, but the world is removed. It's a kind of abstract world, and in some way it's very comforting. Uh, after World War II, I was able to come to the art school, uh, California School of Fine Arts, and study with Ansel and Minor and, and the others. I had two fine teachers. One, was, of course, was Ansel and uh, Minor White and their philosophies and how they went about teaching was entirely different. With Minor White, uh, we went into very intimate details about the content of images. Ansel, I think, uh, he did not discuss the content of the image, what it meant, what he wanted to get across to his students uh, was the um, importance of the technical processes. I think the most important thing I learned from Ansel was commitment, dedication to your field. I came from music, which obviously requires a great deal of commitment, a great deal of intensive labor, but I had never come across anybody who had that kind of focus of energy that Ansel had. I was truly amazed by that. We uh, were living in the house next door. The fact that uh, I was living right there made it very convenient. I was assistant in, in the dark room for Ansel. What I did was stand in the, in the dark room and perhaps uh, send the uh, print through uh, a short stop and, and, and do the mechanical things. But Ansel was always there, even in toning prints. He never had an assistant do any of his fine printing. So it was arranged that I meet Ansel Adams. So I met him and showed him my photographs, and he seemed to be very appreciative of what I had done. It seemed he needed somebody at that point to come and work for him as an assistant. So he said, are you interested? I assisted him directly in the darkroom when he was printing his photographs. And I did proofing of negatives for him. And uh, I did spotting of prints and mounting of prints. When I was working with Ansel, it was always a kind of uh, tense, problem-solving kind of situation. I was thinking about the business of doing the portfolio, the Yosemite portfolio. We would sometimes spend a week working on a single negative, trying to arrive at the perfect print. And of course, I learned a great deal about technical matters of photography while I was working with him. I can't say that I learned a great deal stylistically from him, but I've seen more influence from the field of painting in my own work than I have from other photographers. Well, I've always been very excited by the paintings of Monet and the other Impressionist painters. There's something about the soft light of that kind of landscape that appeals very much to me. I, I guess it does have something to do with a, a kind of unreal world. But there are certain differences, I think, in my work as opposed to Ansel's. Uh, I was thinking about the way Ansel was always attracted to sunny days, and I tend to prefer quiet light, soft, foggy days, overcast days. I think Ansel's personality, a kind of a sunny disposition, chose his subject matter for him, chose his kind of light. Perhaps I'm a little more somber in personality. Uh, I, I think it's a mistake to say he liked my work because uh, there were several occasions, two in my mind in particular, where he um, did not at all 
like the work, and in fact, it was upsetting to him. He did not want to use his uh, photography in a political way. I've been criticized by Ansel for being too political in the workshops. Uh, he used as much uh, politics as anyone else in uh, uh, trying to protect uh, the ecology and so forth. I became a photographer because of my love of plants. I wanted to photograph them. Plants are important to me because they are symbols of energy coming out of the earth. My photographs, while they cover a, a wide variety of subject matter, they're really bits and pieces of me. They are kind of biography in photographs. I don't have any children, so I guess my work in art is what I think of as leaving something for the world. And I've been very successful in working with a number of photographers on uh, projects together. Uh, Ruth Mary Baruch, my wife, we were very successful in working on two projects, one with Dorothea Lang and one with Ansel Adams. I found all of them highly fascinating the collaboration is a wonderful system, if it works. My work now is becoming more and more simple. I, I'm aware of that. And I think it has something to do with my feeling that the world is becoming more and more crowded, more and more hectic, more and more confused. So I notice now that when I compose a photograph, they tend to com contain fewer and fewer elements and present more and more open space.